Hello everyone and welcome back to Horsehaven! We are here in Hearthstone Village with some very exciting news. So you guys may remember last time we did have a little boy Hanoverian that we needed to move over to the USA ranch so that we could breed it with our thoroughbred in the hopes of getting a black forest horse. The beautiful black forest is one of the rarer horses. It hides all the way down at the very bottom of the horsepedia and it looks absolutely stunning. Isn't it so pretty? I have wanted a black forest for a very long time. And it turns out that the Black Forest is actually one of the two horses that we need this month so that we can breed the Sagittarius II Constellation horse. So constantly breeding all of these different mixes of horses together to try to get rare foals. It's so much fun. I really, really love that part of this game. And we have, we don't have the tier one just yet, but look at these. Look at these. <gasps> They're just so pretty. I think that the original is actually my favorite with the Black Forest, the tier one. But I wonder what will happen when it is available in tier four. That is going to be so exciting to see how pretty it's going to be. So we need to breed up the Black Forest so that we can try to get to the Sagittarius. We don't know that just yet, but you guys have told me that the Dolhurst and the Black Forest are the two horses you need to breed together in order to try and get the Sagittarius too. I'm not sure if you have to unlock everything and reveal all of the family tree before you can breed the Sagittarius too. I think that you have to, but I'm not positive so one of the things we may do today is we may take our very brand new black forest bull dun 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 and we may breed her with our dolehurst we do have a male dolehurst and i believe this is a female yes it's a female black forest we've done it you guys i am so excited so last night i popped on and i snagged eco right here and i bred him with quinn our thoroughbred and we managed to get this beautiful black forest full so let's make a little bit of room for her and clear away all all of the coins and all of the weeds and oops I accidentally harvested up some of that wheat I'm sure that's fine and all of the poop no I didn't want to feed you cabbage I love you but I wasn't trying to feed you and cabbage is our Rocky Mountain tier one I'm thinking we might go ahead and sell him for diamonds and there has been an update in Horse Haven now where the value of the horses has been lowered so if you want to have the value they used to have at level 10 you have to breed you have to raise them all the way up to level 15 so that kind of was like ah darn it because I really relied on breeding the horses and raising them to level 10 to make a lot of our diamonds but that's okay he's still worth quite a few diamonds so we're gonna go ahead and sell cabbage to make some room and we're gonna go ahead and clear away the weeds and then you guys the other big project we have today we are actually going to be working very hard and let's put little Zara in second when you get a new baby there we go oh and look she wants some grape feed let's feed her right away and let's get the dolehurst moved over here so we're gonna have to clear out another horse too we can put quinn back inside of the uh the grand stable because she is our only thoroughbred and i definitely want to keep our hands on her <gasps> look now she wants some turnips she is a very classy young lady wanting all of those high level feeds but the other thing we're gonna work on today is trying to get our very first constellation or not our constellation <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's so many types of horses now. We're going to try to get our very first fairy horse, our very first fantasy horse, and I'm very excited about that. I managed to find one other gemstone. I am not sure where or how you find the gemstones when you're racing. It seems that when you race up to 2,000 kilometers on the Horsehaven Cloud Race with your Constellation horses, then you seem to have access to at least one gemstone. So maybe one gemstone, the dream gemstones, show up every 2,000 kilometers? I'm not sure. If you guys happen to know the answer, do let me know. It'll definitely help us with our quest to gather up all of these dream jewels. But I managed to get one of these little, like, amber looking ones. Oh, look how pretty this one is, too. I managed to get one of these amber ones. Oh, and they're diamonds! You can buy them with diamonds! That would be so much easier! Oh my gosh, I definitely will look into that. Oh, that's going to be really fun. Okay, so we need to ju just, like, breed our horses constantly to get diamonds, because these dream jewels would be so useful. Oh, and you guys, there is a way you can see the fantasy horses. Oh no! You need some- oh, thank goodness, I have some soybeans growing. But there is a way you can actually see what different types of fantasy horses are available. I can't believe I forgot. Oh my gosh, I was so excited about my Black Forest full. I forgot that very important detail. So let me go ahead and put down some- No, I didn't want to try to feed you. Sorry, Eco. I wasn't trying to feed you, but have some, have some cherries anyway. I need to raise you up to level 10 too, so that we can have more diamonds. Alright, I'll be back later, Eco. 
All right, there we go. Now I can reach behind Eco and get those planted. But there is a way you can actually see what kind of fantasy horses you have. Let me feed our Black Forest full because I really want to try to level her up today. She's so pretty. Doesn't she look just like my Morgan on Star Stable? Oh my gosh, except she has a little mask. She has a little white line down her face, but otherwise she looks so much like my beautiful Rose Stone. Oh, she's so lovely. I kind of want to name her Rose now. So I'm going to change her name from Zara to Rose after my beautiful Rose Stone. So Rose, you're gorgeous. I'm going to keep you until we can get all of the, the tears of the Black Forest horses for sure. And now to get really excited because the Horsepedia, thank you guys for letting me know, actually has all of the new fantasy horses listed. You have to go past the normal horses. You have to go past the year one constellation horses. You have to continue on past the year two constellation horses right here. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Oh, I'm so sad we didn't get the Scorpio too. It was so pretty. And then the very last page. Dun, dun, dun. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. Can you believe this? I cannot I mean there's so many you have your glimmering fairy horse your jade fairy horse your standard unicorn your sunlit unicorn amber fairy horse onyx unicorn agate fairy corn glacial fairy horse and then you have your lava unicorn and your amethyst fairy corn part of me is laughing so hard I can hardly breathe uh, not just because of this cold either because of the names but I have to admit I've wanted to see these amazing Amazing fairy horses. I wanted some sort of fantasy creature. I was actually thinking of the Kirin from Chinese mythology when I was thinking about it, which is more like a dragon unicorn, which would have been really cool. But I'm really excited to see these guys in here. There's some that look pretty tough, like the Onyx unicorn. Oh, look at that. You have to breed them. <gasps> That's so exciting. Oh my gosh. You have to breed the fantasy horses to be able to get them. That is so cool. And then you have the Amethyst unicorn or fairy corn. Oh, this is going to be cool. So I would have to guess that you start out with things like the glimmering fairy horse perhaps and then you work your way up all right and it looks like everybody kind of can have yeah it looks like if you've got one of the fairy horses or the fantasy horses then you can breed up for some of the others all right look at that they're so pretty amber fairy horse i can't wait to see what they look like and look at this <gasps> look at the agate fairy corn as you go higher level oh my goodness that's gorgeous. So there's no tier fours available just yet. Look at the color of the unicorn's horn. They become rainbow. That's so neat. So they start off kind of like silver or just a little bit gold. There we go. And then dun dun dun. Once they're tier three, they are rainbow. Look at the glacial fairy horse. She is just fancy. She wants to be like super, super fancy. That's really nice. Oh my gosh. That's so neat. All right, so we're going to have some fun breeding up these horses as soon as we can get our hands on them. So to get our hands on the gemstones, I ca this is why we save our diamonds. This is why we save up diamonds so that we'll have diamonds to work with. We're going to go see if we can manage to get our hands on more of the gemstones and our very first fantasy horse today. But we can't lose sight of the hard work we've been doing to try to get the Sagittarius too. So let me go ahead and clear out a spot somewhere in these stables. In fact, here, we're going to move Quinn back into the grand stable. So let's go to the bottom where there's a little bit of room. There we go. Quinn, you're going to scooch over here. And now we are going to bring the Dolehurst over from the French Ranch. There we go. And he was hiding inside of the Grand Stable over there. It's Hero, our Dolehurst. So he's going to come over here and he's going to be Rose's mate once he is landed. He's on his plane across the Atlantic right now, headed this way. There we go. Rose is already up to level four. I'm so proud. And I love this new emulator, by the way, because I'm able to actually go into the stables without that flickering. It's so nice. So nice. I'm so happy. All right. Let's go ahead and put down a little bit more grass. There we go. So got all of that growing. And we do need some room in case we have a fairy horse. But I'm actually thinking where I would want to keep the fairy horses is in the German ranch. Because we have all of the beautiful gemstones. And we have all of the beautiful... Oh, we're so zoomed in. Hang on just a second, guys. All right. There we go. Ooh, look at that. So many sapphires. Yay. We got more sapphires. All right. 
and there we go going to do a little bit more drilling in the mines but we have this whole little area set up so it just makes me think it would be perfect I mean maybe the clover we have down here is kind of uh, imbued with a little bit of the magic from the beautiful gem fountain and from all of these really awesome crystals that we have from our constellation horses so maybe we can feed our fairy horses and you know, all the other fantasy horses some magically touched clover which should be pretty good for them so i really love that and we're going to go ahead and yeah we've got an empty stable already so we can add in any potential fantasy horses and then we're also going to try to do a little bit of specialty breeding here. I just have to think hard about what I would want to specialty breed for next. But I think we have, yeah, we've got two empty stalls. Also, Zelda, I can't remember if I already have you or not in a stall, in a grand stable somewhere. So we'll have to double check. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so exciting, you guys. Oh, and I hit level 40. I forgot to tell you guys, I hit level 40. So we actually were able to go and work on the watermelon salad. Why is that so exciting? Because we have our friend right here who actually wants to trade us some special things in exchange for watermelon salad. So let's go see if we grew enough watermelon and if we have enough watermelon salad that we can trade for the dream gems that he's got his hands on. Oh, and I upgraded a lot of things over here too. I got a little excited. All right, when I hit level 40, we now have an extra st or stable down here. So we have another spot to put our horses. I still need to expand the grand paddock back here. Oh no, I misclicked, why? Hey Ruger, how you doing? Gonna give you some food. So hopefully you can get up to level 10 and I can get some more diamonds. There we go. I'm getting better about sending them all out to walk in the paddock if I'm not here so that we can hurry and go up the levels. All right, and then we upgraded that stable over here. And I tried breeding for another rare Shire. <laughs> it's proving to be very tricky. I have Trojan and Tilly trying to have their beautiful Shire full for the tier two, but so far they've only had tier one Shire babies. And we have another tier one Shire baby named Wizard right here. All right, let's scooch wizard into the stable. There we go. Oh, he wants a little turnip. All right. Oh, he just wants one turnip. You're a big boy. You can have as much food as you want. You're going to be a huge, huge horse. Please ask for more food if you want it, wizard. All right, we'll gather up those turnips really quickly. I love our tiny little turnip fields right there. They're just adorable. We expanded and upgraded this salad factory. I'll go ahead and upgrade it again so that it can make some of the watermelon salad now that we know it's so important. We snagged those watermelon salad. So you get three each every time you gather up the watermelon salad. And now here's the watermelon. So I'm going to continue to grow more watermelon and we're going to go and we are going to take all of our watermelons and our watermelon salad and everything else that we have harvested and collected up over to our friend, that wandering guy right over here. <gasps> look, look, look. And now we can get some dream gemstones as a reward. Yes. All right. So he's going to go look for some splendiferous fantasy horses and we are going to exchange what we've got. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my gosh. Look at this. 45 diamonds. And an entire gemstone, one of those rare gemstones. Oh, that's so exciting. Hey, buddy, come back. Oh, I want him to come back. Oh, he's going to be back in 12 hours. So every 12 hours, you can exchange more things to him for those gemstones. Yes. Okay. So we've got three gemstones now. And if we come over to where you can find the fantasy horses, it looks like what happens is you can add the number of gemstones right here but you can only use one type of gemstone each time and look at this look at how hard this is going to be to snag a special rare creature if you get the rare horse then it's a three percent chance and 96 percent chance that you'll probably just get like a gemstone or something and if you go for uh the elite horse there's only like a two percent chance depending on which gemstone you're going for look you can get the elite or the mythical with this gemstone so this gemstone is definitely like the top tier type so let's go buy one more gemstone really quickly to see how it would increase our chance there so let's see back over to this ranch oh i want to feed this one some cookies really quickly hey lynx it's so much nicer now that i can feed my horses without that flickering and it goes so much smoother so i've been leveling up a lot better that's so wonderful all right and everybody is gathering up stuff over here so taking care of any of the special what is glowing over here ah it's just like a what is going on? That's so interesting. I think that's just a glitch, but that's a really funny glitch to have. Oh, and then what's going on down here? 
Uh, there's a promotion going on right now. That's great. Oh, and then I almost forgot we need to do our daily quizzes. Ah, oh, okay. Out of the three, which breed is the oldest? The Arabian. There we go. Got a ruby. I'm hoping, I'm looking for the dream gemstones down here. Fill in the blank. Horse racing and blank are both known as the sport of kings. Polo. We've done this one before. Yay. In game, which of the following breeds can have a silver mane? Um, this one? Ah, dang it. The halflinger. All right. Wonderful. All right. So that's taken care of. So you guys, let's go ahead and we're going to spend, hmm, let's spend... What happens, we'll buy like three of these. There we go. There we go, we'll buy four. There we go, so I spent like 100 diamonds just then on this experiment. I don't know if I want to try to get the fairy horse just yet. What does it look like now? <gasps> it only raises it to a 20% chance. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be really hectic. I don't know, I don't know you guys. All right, let's do one cloud race to see if when you hit, do, 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 come on Starburn. We're gonna take Starburn and we're gonna do one really quick cloud race. And what we're aiming for is getting to 2,000 kilometers. And it seems like around 2,000 kilometers is when you can expect, where are my gemstones? Why doesn't it say I can find gemstones? The thing that said you can find dream gemstones is missing, why? Do I have too many? That can't be it. All right, whoops, sorry Starburn. I got distracted and distressed because I want my gemstones. But we're just going to race to 2,000 kilometers really quickly. And we're gonna see, oh, the music is so cute. It's so cute. It makes me so happy. I don't, I don't know why, it just does. There we go. But yeah, we're gonna race to 2,000 kilometers and we're gonna see if, okay, there should be something. Ah, oh, do you see like the, the special boost, the energy boost appeared after we ran past it? So I think that she's just a little bit too fast, or maybe it's hidden on purpose. I'm not sure. All right, and up, nope, 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 nope. Ugh, you'd think you'd be able to plow right through a cloud, but it's actually trickier than it looks. All right, so we'll use a little bit of diamonds to give her a bit more of a boost and get all the way to 2000 kilometers. And we'll see if that dream gemstone shows up this time. So there we go. Oops, down you go. Good, good, good. Almost there. I really want the dream gemstones. Ah, oh, see, like everything appears after we run past it. So we might have to submit that as like a little bug. Uh, 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 no, I wasn't able to jump in time. All right, there you go. Come on, Starbird. What a perfect name for this kind of race too. And we've had her for so long. All right, come on, dream gemstones. Whoa, come on, that's not fair when they just appear in front of you with no warning. All right, let's see. We're getting a little bit closer. And if you think about it, you can spend 25 diamonds going ahead and buying a gemstone. Or, come on. Oh, dang it, do you see how there was another boost? Oh, I got distracted because I was a little upset. There was another boost that appeared after we ran past it. So yeah, I'll have to submit a bug report and see if that helps. All right, so last little bit of diamonds we're going to spend. So a little bit over 2,000 kilometers is what I was being told last time. Oh my gosh, really? Stop appearing after I run past you. And if this doesn't work, then primarily what I think we're going to do is we are going to save up diamonds and use our little diamond hoard that we're trying to build up again to go ahead and buy the gemstones. But I really love the idea. Come on. I really love the idea of finding them on the race because that's so much fun. And then, anybody, anybody over here? Any gemstones? And then we'll also um, meet with that guy. And we're gonna be trading. I am gonna be on so much to trade as often as we can for all of those dream gemstones for sure because they're so pretty and we can get fairy horses. And now we have a good stock of the blue gemstones too. So I'm going to wait until it's like a really high likely chance and then we'll get our very first fantasy horse. But the good news from today, at least, is that we do have our beautiful rose. Come on, do you see that? Oh, that's so frustrating. Okay, all right, one more time. I'm just doing it one more time to see if anywhere the gemstone will appear. Because so far we're at 3,000 kilometers and no gemstone. And we've had a lot of the boost show up after we got in front of them or behind them. All right, let's see. No, ah, 
Come on. And the jumps are showing up. Yeah, I'll, I'll submit a bug report and we'll see if that helps. But that's okay because this is so much fun too. <laughs> well, it's not okay that those things show up, but I'm not like upset upset because it really is so much fun to be in this cloud race. I don't know why. It's just my favorite race. It's so beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the, the Rainbow Road. Doesn't it remind you a lot of Rainbow Road Mario Kart? All right, there we go. No, no, Starburn. No, you were supposed to jump. All right, but here we go, you guys. So if you have any better luck, let me know. But we just went 3,000. What the heck? Did I just spend diamonds without meaning to? Ah, oh, I need to move my little clicker so that I don't do that again. Down you go, Starburn. All right, so let's see. 3,000. Oh, man. All this stuff showing up when it's not supposed to. All right, we're getting close to 4,000, and I'm not seeing any of the dream jewels. So maybe you can only buy them? Huh. We're going to have to look into that. But it's a good experiment, so hopefully I'll save you guys a whole bunch of diamonds. Ah, oh, see, there was another boost that didn't boost for us. Yeah, hopefully this will save you guys a ton of diamonds and, and heartache. <laughs> And you won't have to worry about trying to pull this off and nothing happens. So that's okay. I don't mind spending my diamonds on experiments like this when it can hopefully help you guys out too. Alright, jump and up we go. And let's keep moving. And nope. Yeah, I did spin diamonds by accident. Okay, so we went almost 5,000 meters. We didn't find a single dream gemstone, but it also didn't say we could find them this time, which I think is interesting. So we'll have to look into that. But we can buy the dream gemstones with diamonds. So it looks like the best bet we actually have right now is breeding up our Arabian horses back at the German ranch once more and raising them in exchange for diamond. And we do have a lot of, um, we also do have a lot of money. So the other thing we could do is go breed up some of our constellation horses and try getting their babies because their babies sell for quite a bit. Constellation horses always sell immediately for diamonds. So we might try that out too. And there you go, Patience. You're so awesome. So yeah, we may dig out like a couple of our Pisces or some of the other Constellation horses and start breeding them for diamonds. And we'll just see where it goes. I am very excited. We're going to have Fantasy horses and hopefully the Sagittarius too. And I am so excited for these updates that you can bet I am going to be here a lot more often. So you can expect extra bonus episodes of Star Street or Star Stable. What? <laughs> well, that too. Horse Haven showing up. Oh man, sometimes I mix up my horses, you guys. It's kind of hilarious. But all right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you have any insight to our little wrestling issue with the dream jewels and then do let me know and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye!